Hello, my dear friends. Our topic is escaping from doubts. My friends, is there any time you thought about yourself that you are lower and weaker than others? Are you facing difficulties in decision making? Are you really regretting of your life and cursing your own birth and life? Are you regretting or feeling guilty of your past life? Our devotion comes to us from Matthew chapter 11, verse 2 and 3. When John, who was in prison, heard about the deeds of the Messiah, he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who is to come? Or should we expect someone else? My friends, your life is a beautiful and awesome gift. But many times, your life is tossed up because of your doubts. You are really facing mental tiredness because of your confusions. John the Baptist was a forerunner of Jesus Christ. But when he faced trials and troubles, when his life was under threat, he began to doubt whether Jesus was the genuine Messiah or somebody else to come. My friends, doubt is your powerful enemy who steals only your happiness and peace. Your doubt will cause your relationship fragile. Your doubt will never make you progress in your achievement. Your doubt will never let you be happy. Your doubt will destroy your faith and confidence. The question is, how can you escape from your enemy of doubt? Number one, stop comparing. My friends, never compare your life with others. Never compare your self-esteem with others. Never compare your spouse with others. Never compare your children with others. You have got your own exclusive value. You are unique in this world. God has made with special purpose. Never underestimate yourself by comparing you with others. You are just one in the world. Your pain and your tears are different than others. By comparing, you will lose your value and integrity. By comparing, you will lose your self-respect. Just respect your own opinion and value and your decision. Number two, trust yourself. My friends, the reason for your doubts and confusion is you only. Never doubt your faith. Never doubt your future. Never doubt your decisions. You are the friend of yourself. You are the judge for yourself. You decide what to do. You determine your destiny. Life and death is in your hand. Make your own way and focus your own destiny and move forward. Whatever the challenges or criticism comes. Number three, trust only Jesus. My friends, when John the Baptist doubted Jesus, Jesus was saying, what is happening when people devalue you? When people underestimate you? When people insult you? When people discourage you? And also when people penalize you? Just behold Jesus and he will give you your future. Here is the hope for you today from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5. But you be watchful in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. Let's pray. Dear Lord, there is somebody here doubting their own self. Please, dear Lord, give them confidence that they will stand up and they will wipe away their tears 
and have very concrete, confirmed, confident life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.